for being here. And I appreciate it very much. This show is about bringing awareness to stroke, TBI, mm-hmm. aphasia, uh, brain injury. Um, okay. Did I already say I'm a stroke survivor? Uh, Jerry Wald, I am the host. I, I may have just said that. But uh, anyway, um, you can tell I'm a stroke survivor. But anyway, um, I bring on uh, guests so they can share their journeys from all across the world so we can learn more about stroke, aphasia, uh, brain injury, uh, TBI, all of the above. And also uh, bring on experts in brain health so they can share their knowledge uh, for us to learn about the, the brain, stroke, and all the above, like I mentioned. Um, also, um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. It's called Let's Talk Stroke. There is a notification button on there. And um, so uh, you know when I'm going live every Tuesday and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Central Time here in Texas. Um, I wanted a, this is a really huge um, topic that I wanted to bring up, which is I'm sure if anybody had a stroke or any kind of a heart disease or any kind of a trauma in their life, I, the economic burden that we always that we face i put on here the economic economic burden um of a stroke which you know how that is we will get into it and um not the funnest thing to go through but you know it's 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 life that we have to deal with um so i'd love to hear your people out there what you're um what you're doing to overcome uh the burden that we go through on uh having a brain injury. So let's uh, sit back, relax, and please ask questions. I may not have the answers, but I certainly would love to hear your uh, questions and let me know where you're from. Um, Then uh, we can let everybody else know where you're from. Um, That makes sense. Okay. Um, Anyway, let's go sit back and here we go. All right. Good morning here from Texas, and it is about ten o three. So thank you guys for being here. And uh, before we even start, but just uh, good morning, and thank you, uh, Kevin from Delaware. Appreciate it. Um, Gary, good morning. Kevin Armour, good morning. Kelly um, from Florida, I appreciate you doing this. This is great. Blue song, nice to see you too. Um, well, everybody, uh, Serena. Nice to see you. Um, um, yeah, we're gonna, we'll talk about that. I'm, I'm looking at your comments here before we get into it. But I, I trust me, Kelly, with you, Marina. Nice to see you. Great pictures with your grand- grandchild there. I, I loved it. It was beautiful. Uh, Bruce, nice to see you. Mike Peters, and thank you for putting where you're from. This is awesome. Um, nice to see you. And um, okay, well, like the retirement. Um, uh, good morning from uh, Connecticut. Love it, Sheldon. Um, and please, if you haven't subscribed, Naomi, nice to see you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel called The Let's Talk Stroke, feel free to um, subscribe. Thank you. And I'm glad that you're here. Um, this show is live on several Facebook pages. It's on uh, my personal page, Jerry Wald. It's on uh, strive for greatness. Let's talk stroke. There's also on uh, Twitter, which is X now. It's live there. It's on LinkedIn. Um, it's on Twitch, um, which is a gaming thing. And uh, Nancy, nice to see you. Thank you, Mike. Um, but uh, who else? Let's see here. It's several other um, Facebook or other social media sites. It is live. So um, feel free to jump on any of those and. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. A kit, nice to see you. Really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all you guys here being here. Really, thank you for telling us where you are from. Um, thank you and thank you so much. Appreciate it. So anyway, this topic very important to me, and that's why I did this. I have a guest, and it was kind of um, uh, come and go. So we just I decided you know we'll move to another date for that, which is fine. But I thought this is so important. Um, the em- the economic burden of a stroke. You know, when you have a stroke, I'll just you guys know this or a brain injury. 
it starts. Um, um, your life becomes an open book. And I'm not sure if you all feel the same way, but I talk to so many people out there and it is the craziest thing. Um, I see, uh, thank you. I always watch your video. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Um, I'm depressed about my, I'm, I'm reading a comment here. So, um, you know, everybody can see the comment and you know what, I, so I appreciate that you're watching the videos. I, I really do. You're depressed about um, your condition, but I've helped you, wow, to continue fighting and working on my progress. Thank you, Sheldon. That means a lot. I really appreciate that. Um, and uh, Mike Wales. Uh, let's see here. And I do, um, let's see here. I appreciate Kevin here. Um, thank you for getting in. I'll get into this. I know that I'm kind of wobbling around here, but this is really important that you guys are uh, making comments and asking, well, asking questions, um, all the above there. Um, having a good private disability insurance policy, health insurance, help me. Uh, I would recommend disability insurance for all people who can get it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. I totally understand there. Um, very important there, uh, Kevin. Yeah, I don't see why, I, well, disability is, I mean, how do we say that? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, Robert, peace, brother, nice to see you. And I'll, I'll talk to you about the, the aphasia stuff later. But anyway, uh, hospitals, therapy, yes. You know what, I here, let's see what I was, uh, I did so many uh, notes and, um, as you know, stroke is the leading cause of death and long-term disability. Um, has a considerable um, social and economic impact. I mean, the social part too. And think about this. You know, you, we all have. We always well. We had a brain injury, and the emotional impact. I mean, at first, because when I had it, I didn't. Um, I didn't realize the economic impact because I just was out of it. So, but then when you get, well, back to life, um, then you feel, then you see, wow, this is kind of crazy. You know, um, for me, um, I lost my job. I don't know if, you know, I, I'm, I'm honest. I just say it how it is. And sometimes things come out and it's like, wow. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, I lost my job and, and it just, um, it was kind of a crazy thing. I thought I'm gonna go back to work and we'll all be back brand new again. Well, that didn't happen. Um, didn't know what to do. Um, yeah, need disability insurance a must. Yeah, my policy ended, ended at 65, had a stroke at 64. Yeah, I, oh, I know, you know, I had mine at 49. I am now more than 13 years out. and you know, I, I've tried. I've tried for the first five years, tried to see if I can get back in the workforce. Let me tell you, the first five years, no, I just, people say, I mean, I can go so many directions here. Uh, good morning, T. Nice to see you. Um, yes, let's see. What was I? I actually said, um, first of all, uh, you know, 90% of strokes. I'm sure you guys know this. Are well, they say it's preventable, um, and uh, they're related to some kind of um, modified uh, risk factors. Do you guys feel the same way I do? Um, did Did you feel the same way as I did? I uh, when I had my stroke, the guy and I went thought, okay, I'm going back to work. Now there's uh, little boxes you check. In the now they say, okay, do you have a disability? Well, yeah, I put that on there because you know if I go into a what do you call it re interview, they're gonna see me hobbling around out there. So they're you know, but do they really um, um, don't? Let's see. When you have a disability, they they look at you and they think, okay, ah, disability doesn't it doesn't affect you. Well, really, the, to me, I think I think it does. I don't think they're gonna um, uh, do that with you. Um, lost your job, had to refinance mortgage to keep my house. I know 
I, oh, God, that's a whole other thing, too. Um, but now they say the uh, e economic uh, impact for uh, stroke until, like, is, like, right now, it's at more than 56 um, or $108 billion. Uh, and that, that includes, um, like, indirect costs as well as um, working, um, loss of work. Um, uh, missed, missed days at work, uh, health care, medicines, um, um, long-term disability. It, this is a, a terrible thing that we have to go through. Um, but, I mean, who knew? You know, it's, a, it's just a terrible thing. Um, five years post-tea, I bring it up just because tea. Uh, agree, first five years post-stroke, it was it's the worst. I tried to work over and over. None of it has been easy. I'm, I'm with you, man. This is the um, going there. I transferred all my debt to Jerry. <laughs> oh, this is good. Yeah. Gosh. So, you know, I always kept thinking, you know, I, I see so many of us out there that have um, um, uh, economic impact. So my goal is I would love to um, somehow raise money and um help people out i mean that's what this for me is is i want to see other people you know succeed i mean just the little things in life you know just uh i mean people that that don't understand a stroke okay my cell phone bill um some food it'd be nice just to be able to okay you know i've never done it so i don't need to apply i don't know what the real right thing is to do is uh you know, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, everything is going up in price. So it'd be nice to help some people out. Um, anyone, you know, that has any kind of a disability. And since I know a lot about uh, stroke, TBI, aphasia, brain injury, it'd be nice to, you know, because a lot of people won't ask for the help. They won't ask, um, you know, they feel embarrassed um, that they're not going to be able to afford something. Well, then just reach out. Well, I have the money, but I'm just saying um, it'd be nice to raise money for that purpose. Um, so I'm thinking about it. I don't even know how to, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm looking into it to see if we can uh, um, to do something like that. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Mike, and you know what? I, I like hearing that. No, I don't like it. How do I say it? I, I like hearing the honesty that you're saying there. I know. I mean, really, the food bank, people, I, I know people that are really struggling. They won't even get in the line, you know, the line to go to the food bank. Um, but it's okay. That's what, that's, that's what this is. Um, that's why they have these food banks. You can, you can, you know, drive in there. That's how it is. I see Mars drive in there, open your trunk, and they're just throwing, not throwing, but put a lot of, uh, um, food in there that you really do need it's so important um um and mike thank you for saying that uh we do reach out for help oh who do we reach out to for help well yeah i know i see now marina like that right there i that's why i've been thinking about this for a long time trying to see how i could raise money i just you know, I don't want people thinking, oh, you just want to raise money for yourself. No, I, I, okay, I do have a good heart, and that's what I'm wanting to do. So anybody has any ideas, please let me know, because, I mean, I, you know, I love the honesty that you guys are saying. Um, I know there's not many programs here. I see, Bruce, you're saying in, in Massachusetts. Um, um Sheldon, that's a good idea. Many of us are struggling. I'm with you. I mean, I know how this goes. I mean, you know, so I, I want to go back. I'm, I'm just looking at this, but Teresa T, you mentioned about the uh, five years struggling. God, I don't want to miss your comments, but I want to touch on that too. Um, five years ago. I, I see your message, Jerry. Um, um, five years five, after my stroke. Okay, I'm. Uh, I ran into this here. Um, well, doing a show because of my kids, and you know, because I was with a different um, 
uh, show, but it long story there. But I ended up uh, this one started doing it. The banners, my kids, and they set me on how do you do this that. So I ended up um, uh, setting it up and starting. The first thing is interviewing stroke survivors. Wow, that was pretty darn cool for me. Or you know, brain injury survivors, um, which is to me was so important. Um, so I can learn more about it because I was so lost. I, I didn't know what a stroke was. I thought old people have that, whatever that is. So um, that's what I did. So um, so for me to help, and, and I let me see. I'm I'm gonna let me bring this up. So T, that's that's how. Um, did that make any sense? No. Um, I was lucky that I was close to retirement when I had my stroke, 64. I, I would much would. If you had a stroke during your prime, yeah, yeah, but I know, I know there's so many things there. It's a good idea. Many of us struggle. I agree, Sheldon. Um, that TA, let's see, yeah, I know, had to live off of 401 until I was gone, lots of financial loss, but sad but true. I agree. I'm glad I'm not 13 years, having stroke, happy to be alive. I know, let's think there, okay. There is Jerry Chapman. I'm curious, who are people that said stroke is 90% avoidable? I know you. I okay. You saw that. That was in a. Um, that was on a. Oh gosh, there. I actually pulled it up here somewhere. Let's see. Um, it was in a. Uh, oh gosh, let's see. It's it's on health economic. Um, Thingamajiggy. I'll keep it here so then you you can um, we can talk and you can see that it's uh, where it came from. I know. Um, T, T, you're such such a kind person. Um, thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> Mike, sell my body. Gosh, I'm like just hobbling around here. I know a lot of people, uh, Jerry, just uh, don't know that. In fact, I never did. I never even thought about it when I was working. I was just doing my thing, and then all of a sudden, it hit me. Couldn't move. I mean, it's just the weirdest feeling. I don't know if you guys, you know, I, I heard a, a pop in my head. Whoa, what was that? And then, uh, then it just uh, went from there downhill. So um, uh, it was really a big blow. After I, I'm, I'm reading your comments, so I appreciate it. Cindy, thank you for being here. Um, we have told me that I would never be able to, I know, oh, I know. Okay. I, I understand. I went to the job service, shared, allowed to work maybe 15 hours a week. I know that's the thing. You know, I'm going to be talking to my, um, disability folks and see what the heck, because there's some kind of online things you can do. Um, but if you make too much, you guys probably know this, so you can, if you make too much money, you lose your disability. I mean, really, disability doesn't do really a whole lot. Well, so anyway, um, you got to find out about that. So I became involved and volunteered. I know, good for you, Sandy. I think I remember that. Um, Robin, good to see you around there. Uh, Musang, oh, he's, I love the idea of no one can prepare for the disability. I regret preparing for something like this. I would have changed my... I know, I, I didn't, who knew, you know, when you had a stroke or a brain injury, well, it is a brain injury, that how, um, how terrible that we go through this, but uh, let's see, I did put up some other things, I hope to, Marina, let's see, it just seems like there's no win, I know, right, um, Robert, it's so hard when, I know, aphasia prevents you from calling agencies that offer services, I know, I know, when my wife's cares right allowance is taking care of my benefit. Wow, good for you. Um, I don't know if that was what I really meant there, but uh, let's see here. I had some other things here. Um, so I think I told you the long-term expenses are estimated to be more than um, this is this is um, uh, what do you call it? assuming that there's three percent uh, inflation every year. So right now. Well, to this date, $108 billion, which will be spent on 
us, you know, not us, but on uh, the impact of what we're going to be, uh, what we go through, loss of wages, loss of stay. I mean, you know, there's so many other things that the, um, it's just tough to, to read all this stuff to see that, uh, you know, it's, yeah, I got it right here. It says it. Yeah. So, um, Jerry, I see this right here. Ninety percent of strokes are related to a modifiable risk factors. That's it there. So, um, um, once I said put me in a home, it costs a lot more. Yeah, I know. I know it's just just crazy stuff. But um, what was it? What was it else? Um, I know when when you have aphasia, it seems. Uh, tell me, this doesn't happen. Seems like I'm talking fairly good, but when I get on the phone and talk to just a disability or talk to a interview job thing, and then it, they don't understand it's quiet and, uh, and they just don't, they it's quiet. So when I'm talking to them, I could tell this is not going good. And I'm thinking, okay, I got to get out of this situation. And, uh, but, and so it's tough. I mean, it's really tough. You know that, um, Let's see what you're doing here, Naomi. Good to see you. As a caregiver and responsible for the financial burden is all on me. I know. Oh, yes. I know. I know. And the sad thing is I actually had a great job. And then I, um, my speech therapist told me, um, I, yeah, my speech therapist, and I. that's why I didn't like speech therapy. Because after about a year uh, inpatient there, he tells me, you know what? He tells my wife, at the same, both of us. Well, you are going to lose your job. That's one thing. Okay, that really didn't go over good with me. I ended up uh, not going back to speech therapy because I thought this guy's a jerk. He's gonna, he's telling me I'm losing my job. Well, about a year after that, guess what happened? Lost the job. And uh, I, I, when I was able to drive, I actually went really pretty good, and I went into some interviews. I thought I'm I'm perfect for this job. The guys, I mean, I, I'm I know what I'm doing. I was, and I'm applying for a job less what I was doing, but I didn't get hired. I didn't know, but now look back and think, gosh, I must have been a heel talking gibberish. And then, um, so could could I have uh, done the job then? I, I think I thought I could, but obviously I couldn't. But, but it was a, uh, um, I didn't, I didn't get the job. And so I applied for several and several and here now they say the economic impact here, the job market was crazy. This, this last month, this last year, it's been great. Uh, Jerry, where's your job? Well, I mean, it's almost like it's embarrassing. I can't get a, you know, a, pretty good paying job i mean it's just it's frustrating and i know you, I'm, you you know i oh i know that mike um gene can go to work after a stroke yeah it's like i know it's just my job in the airline required me to for travel and the thing is i i know i uh i love to travel but now for me it's really nerve-wracking because i know I, it's just my luck. I'm going to be, I'll be at the hotel or something and I'll be by myself and I'll think I'm going to have a seizure. I did that one other time. I thought I'm having a seizure and I did. Oh my gosh. It was crazy. I had to call the uh, front desk to have somebody come up. <laughs> just, it was, you know, sitting there without a shirt, getting ready to go to a meeting and thought, and then the, the seizure stopped. And uh, they're sitting there. They're probably thinking, "What is this guy? He's just a drunk guy." I don't know what's going on. But um, me too. Jerry interviews. I know recruiters. I yeah, yes. My fear. It, it it still is my fear. But I, you know, somehow I gotta make more money. I mean, that's just the bottom line. I mean, I, I don't you guys think that that's the bottom line? So. Like for you guys, I mean, I've seen all these comments. Why don't, why don't, um, I know. So it is very frustrating. So I'd love to, again, my goal is to help people out. 
Um, I mean, even if it's, you know, whatever, any anything just to, you know, but I'm not a big, what do you call it? I'm not really that um, knowledgeable. Should I say that? Knowledgeable about raising money. Um, when I worked for a company, that was not a big deal. But uh, for now, I mean, you, you know, when you have no job, you got to, you know, what could I do to say, okay, um, let's set up something and just, you know, raise money. And, and so, and anybody that needs, I mean, I don't know how this, so I'd love, I'd love to have a money, I know, Robin, I'd love to have a money tree. Gosh, I know. Well, there's no leaves on the tr uh, trees anymore, too. So I'm kind of, you know, uh, SOL, you know, but anyway, it would be, it'd be good to do that to see. I mean, if anyone would like to donate, uh, to, you know, what do you do? Give some, give, give someone your bank account. Say, okay, toss money in this one. You know, I actually have a business bank account, but uh, oh, by the way, it has nothing in it. So, why that throw that one out there? Um, but yeah, work, but have to be here. I know, I know you do because you got you know, Jean's had what twelve or nine. You know, I mean, talk to so many people. Yeah. You have to eat right. So, I mean, see, like that. There is a food bank. It will cost nothing. Um, um, more of money we eat. I know. <laughs> yeah, so. But it is kind of a crazy situation that we go through. But um, So the impact of a stroke, the economic impact, not only, I mean, how many, there's every 40 seconds someone has a stroke. And I feel for them because I understand. I mean, I'm one of them that uh, didn't know what's – well, first, I, I mean, the stories I've heard from my um, situation, my kids and my wife and all that, wow. I mean, did anybody go through – because I, I managed it, all the, the money. Did anybody go through um, – the same thing like, okay, now she, she's got to take over all the bills. She, I mean, she didn't know what a lot of them, you know, she knew some of them, but didn't know all of them. So, you know, people calling and like, oh, my gosh, what is this? I didn't know any of that. I was just a, in a hospital going through inpatient therapy, just no talking, um, limping around. Um, I wasn't even, I was in a wheelchair, you know, so. It's amazing that she didn't bother me and say, hey, "Where do we have to go here? Why is this not here?" I don't know, you know. I, but we didn't do that. She was amazing. So, just kind of a crazy situation. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I went through the old hiccups and stuff that we all go through. Um, yes, Marina. I know. I know. It's hard. It is very hard. But, um, but anyway, that's. Um, I, I just wanted to. Kind of talk this topic because it's a to me it's a very important topic for all of us brain brain injury survivors the economic impact burden of a stroke and you know I would love to hear, oh yeah no nah, you know I had I had the stroke and I'm still you know tons of money um, yeah that would be amazing but was always there for yeah I know and she. I mean, I know uh, spouses. I don't, you know, I've had people on my show. I mean, I'm completely blessed. I have an amazing wife. Can you imagine? Because I, I taught, I've had many. I don't know if you've ever seen some of these um, interviews that I've had. Where, I, I mean, I've had one. One, I don't bring up names, but one, the um, spouses. Well, the is it the husband or the wife? One of them in the hospital couldn't talk just had a stroke and the spouse comes in and says i didn't real hello i didn't sign up for this well you kind of did not kind of but you did oh my gosh so they just left um and it's a it, yeah no amount of money replaces what you've lost yeah i'm with you there serena but so I, i've had some that uh the whole, I've had so many, you know, the, 
the, the lady came in with the divorce papers. He's in, the, he's in the hospital, can't even move. He can't sign anything. It just, just blows me away how some, you know, sickness and health, well, you know, this is part of the, you know, why'd you get married or all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, permission to leave me. Yeah, I know that, Mike. You told me that you gave permission. That's just something else there, huh? Um, would love to have money last the month. Dr. Bill's prescriptions, inflations. I know. See, now, if I raise money, I mean, this is something uh, it would make me so happy to provide something with that. I mean, you know, what do you call it? Uh, funds for that reason alone. Um, and, and I know, I mean, I know. I mean, I wish I had something better to uh, say with all that. But, you know, just a matter of time. It will be, uh, let's see, it'll just, it'll be a matter of time if I can figure this all out because, you know, we can, I, you can't, I can't, what do you call this? You can't squeeze terminal. How do you say that? Can't squeeze, well, here in my house, you can't squeeze something out of a turnip. I know it doesn't make sense. Um, I, you know, it did, didn't make sense. Uh, I know, I know, I, I just, even that, I know, just seems, e you know, easier. Okay. Robin, for me, easier said than done. I know, just threw that out there. But um, I'm, I'll look into it, you know, because um, it's not for me. I mean, I want people to really benefit from something that re they really need, really need it, because it does help out. I mean, even just like it helped me through the month, you know. Um, okay, the end of the day, just anything. Um, I know, Mike, but. Uh, so yeah, kid, you can't. That's it. Okay, you can't squeeze blood out of a turn. <laughs> that's it. I mean, uh, yeah, you can't squeeze Jerry out of a out of a turn of. I know something like that. But um, thank you. Uh, oh, look at you all doing it, Robin. Can't. This is pretty cool that you guys are both saying that. Um, but uh, at least a safe place. Because everyone understands. I know. I know. I, I look at I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I look into it. And, but Sheldon, love to talk to you sometime. I mean, I trust me. I know. I, I'm sure I, I, maybe I don't know. But it'd be great to hear how far um, post-stroke are you or brain injury are you out? Um, um, I know. Hey. It's better than doing nothing, right, Sheldon? Just going out there and, you know, trying to find a job or just, you know, it's it's just now, I mean, I'm trying to, when you go into the interview, okay, I'm going to have to walk straight. I'm going to try to talk straight. Um, I've been working on shaking my hand with my, ther my therapist, my right hand, because that's my dominant side, was affected, trying to work on shaking the hands. See, now, that, to me, um, I'm on my sixth month, Jerry. Okay, Sheldon, I'm okay. Well, love to talk to you. I mean, you know, I know. Um, and, and that's right. That's the same with me, Mike. Can't give money, but can, uh, yeah, your time is homey case. I know. I know that. Um, I know. I know you do that because I've seen you do that online. Um, but, uh, Mike making cakes and stuff like that and, and that's the thing you know if if there's something you do to you know just like you're making cakes and you know just getting to the um to another like like i've been to like a homeless shelter i've been to stroke support groups and i i mean i've gone i go every uh, there's like three thursdays well three stroke support groups a month and I think I've told this before. I'm not sure if you guys remember it or if you don't remember it. That's okay. And I see a lot of people here um, that are new that I not recognize. But that's okay. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, oh, going to stroke support groups. When I was inpatient, I hid behind the, the person in front of me because I did not want to be called on. 
because I was more embarrassed that I had a stroke. Sheldon, I'm not sure if you have for me. I, that's how I was. I was very, I know, Marina, I was more embarrassed that I had a stroke because I didn't know what it was. I thought, okay, I'm the, I'm the, the youngest one in here, but I found out I wasn't. And uh, so now I'm the one that goes to these groups trying to let them know things do get better. You just need to work hard at it. I know I'm in 13 years post, and I trust me, I got a lot of way, lot way to go. But, um, but anyway, being um, involved in your groups, I mean, reach out to your the hospital you're at or anywhere if it's close. Tell them I want to go to a stroke support group. You know, I, it's okay to ask for help. And so anyway, I mean, I can go on and on about this. Um, he had a car crash and had a concussion a few years later. I had a stroke. Yes, I, I remember. Um, I wish I could work just to make ends meet. I'm with you, Marina. I know. Um, Mike, you were embarrassed to go to the food. But I know. See, Mike, I, I love it. No one is judging you. Even the people that work there at the food banks um, is pretty darn awesome. So really, um, it would be great. I mean, I mean, I could set it up, the GoFundMe thing, and just you know, I could put a I don't know two dollars. I know people, you know, I'm not going to get embarrassed. You know, I can put two dollars in. I mean, it's just because it is not. It's you know, it's not like when I was working. It was a lot different. A lot different. Whole lot different. Anyway, that's just um, this uh, burden that we face having a brain injury. I always put brain injury because of stroke, TBI, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, but, uh, uh, okay, um, let's see. Um, Robert, you went to stroke support group, but no help for me. Well, I don't know. If I, see, not, I don't want to say, I don't want to say because I, I like going. I don't. They didn't really. Uh, if they're not, if they're watching, sorry, it didn't. Did it really not help me? No. But I went to. Um, I wanted to be the one to talk there at the support groups. After this is years. I mean, this is, um, maybe nine years later. That could be a little, nah, not earlier than that. But I was more the one that wanted to be there and let them know things be okay. You know, and I don't want to give anyone false hope. It takes a while, but he, you know, you're not going to just pop back and be woohoo! I'm a hundred percent. No, that doesn't work like that. Um, this channel, it's, uh, I'm just good. I'm you know, sorry. I, I I don't want to be missing this channel. Help for COVID and a safe place to get the help and support. Thank you, absolutely. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. it means a lot. And you. Feel free to reach out if you ever want to be on my show that have not been on or even want to be that have been a while. Love to have you back on it. You know, see, get an update. Um, um, yes, there. Okay, so going back to the stroke support groups, I was the, uh, I wanted to be the one to talk. Things came out all wrong, but it's okay. I did a presentation with um, someone, um, well, myself. Someone gave, oh, uh, anybody know Mike Dose Megan? Love Mike. Great guy. He uh, provided me a script, and I changed things around just to match me. And then uh, I went there, had a whole bunch of them printed out, and because uh, I have a printer here. Okay, now it doesn't work. So, And I ha passed them out at the stroke support group, thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just mumble on. That makes no sense. But they were there. They're fairly newbies, and they loved it. So go there. I mean, just all it is is just talking. You're telling experiences of what you've been through, and that's what I did. I went there and, and started talking, and I kept thinking, this, I'm just talking. I'm, I'm, a, this is, I'm not doing good at all. This is crazy. But it worked out, and it was kind of cool, so I wanted to go back and talk to people. Let them know. And there may be five people there. The first one I went to, there was like 18 people. or It was like 20 people. 
I'm thinking, ah, oh, why did I, why I get myself into here? But it was awesome. It was just the honest instead of, I don't want to say instead of, sorry guys, if you're watching my, my wonderful um, support group that I go to, it's a therapist. Tell them, you know, how to, what to work on some things or a speech therapist, just some things like that. But when it's someone like me or like somebody that um, has been through a brain injury, just tell them how it is. I told them exactly how it is, um, what I went through, you know, and, and what I'm going through. Because it's still, it's not like, okay, I, I'm the one who just healed. Brand new. No. So thank you, Musong. I appreciate it. I, I would love to talk to you. Bye. Yes. Um, Serena. Uh, every counts see it before you know yes i know um no i know okay that's the word i was looking for um gary hiring law supposedly restrict discrimination against those disabled but the reality is this i know see that's the thing i am that's the word i was like looking for let me see the time oh i was looking for it maybe about a half hour ago so funny. Um, good morning, Roxy. Nice to see you. Um, Jerry, you can start a stroke oh, for me to help other stroke survivors who are less. I know that's what I'm absolutely. That's what I'm trying to figure this all out. Um, but I don't, it's just for me, it's like when I first had to go to the stroke support group, I was more embarrassed. So, like me trying to set this thing up, I don't want people thinking. Oh, you're just setting up a fund me so I can use it. Well, no. I want to help other people. That's really what it's about. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what topics do you cover with the stroke groups? Well, I'm in person with them. So a lot of times there are different people that, um, that go. Um, which is great. So I'll even cover the, the same topic about, you know, it's okay to ask for help. A lot of little things that, um, you know, just don't give up. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. So, I, you know, don't give up. There's a lot of things to talk about. Um, about, um, you know, because a lot of people don't want to talk. Well, the, they don't really have stroke survivors jump up like me and talk about what, um, what I've been through and what, you know, what can they learn from me? Um, and that's, so, you know, I tell them how my story is, you know, starting out and, you know, I kind of go backwards like, Oh, um, yes. Um, let's see. Um, got me all the, all that's good there. Um, but anyway, um, it's, uh, yeah, I talk about, sorry, Gary, I just get, okay. Wait till you have a stroke, then you'll see how what wibbly-woggly go. I ended up um, um, talking about, like, what I've been through. So you get to, let's, okay, I can get back here to this. I can, um, um, oh, boy. Okay, your old stroke brain here. Go to, um, I talk about what I've, um, what I've been through. So you get somebody that's been through it, not somebody like, you know, I, I don't want to take away from anybody, but uh, I want to um, let everybody know that, you know, it's okay. I, I A lot of people don't know or they don't want to because they're embarrassed because if you're a newbie, you don't want to ask for help. And that's, I trust me, I was that person, didn't want to ask for help. And, um, but I'll tell you what really helped me is doing this the last six seven years talking to people you know like privately um just yeah i'm oh i just said it. marina thank you <laughs> uh it's funny but you're very genuine you're uh thank you but anyway that's uh i know i steven i see you i saw you ah just I go off on tangents because I'm, I'm really passionate about this stroke and what we've been through. Um, 
Okay, I know I probably have missed it. So when you go to a group, you learn, teach. At the same time, David Capps helped me learn to rush my brush teeth without asking. I know. Okay, I had to learn everything. Sweet, well, you probably know. I don't know if you know, but I had to learn everything with my non my non dominant hand. The whole because it was affected my right side, which is my affected side, and it's really kind of a. Uh, um, okay, I mean this is yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to bring this topic up because it's so important. You know, I mean what we go through, but I, I appreciate you guys that said that it's okay to you know set it up. Um, I know, oh Serena, good. I mean thank you. Set it up. You're a big help. Numerous one. Keep doing good deeds. Do do my best, uh, Sheldon. Thank you so much, um, Robert. It's great for us to be able to listen and know. No people do share. Yes, I agree. Um, thank you, Gary. Thank you, um, T, and everybody who everybody's here. And I apologize if I've missed some of you here. That's just. Uh, uh, but it's funny though. In Ten minutes. I've got a. Uh, um, I would think I do have a. Believe it or not, I do. Um, um, <clears throat> hang on here, um, Gary. I would think nurses, therapists, and possibly doctors would be interested in the, in the hospital groups. I know. See, I have I have my therapist that run a group that uh, that help out and stuff. So. That's what that is all. Um, Jimmy, uh, I know I can't say this because I've been there. I don't know how uh, post you are, how, if brain injury, stroke, how far you're out because, God, you can't even believe. I'm sure you could probably tell any stroke survivor in here or brain injury survivor, <clears throat> what um, were you scared? Because I see Jimmy saying he's scared. But let me tell you. I was, I mean, it was, it was like at a, at a point in the beginning. I know Mike Peters, you probably agree with me 100% on this. I, at, in the hospital, I kept thinking, you know, I'd be better off I'm not here because I'm just such a burden. I mean, I got people that have to wash, you know, wash you, got to do this, walk, make you, help you eat. I didn't eat because I didn't like, like mush because I couldn't eat food. You know, so everybody has to take care of you. So I totally understand if that's what you're talking about, Jimmy. Totally understand. Just tough situation to go through. So, um, yeah. So, um, anyway, um, that's, uh, that's probably it for now. I know I, I, I know I said the, up, all you can, I don't know, they see it. The economic burden of a stroke. That's what we go through. Huge issue. Um, so I, I will talk to some of you out there just to see, you know, because it's more, say, like me having a stroke, I was embarrassed. So me trying to set something out like this, uh, I don't know, it's called GoFundMe or it's, they have other things. Um, but I will see if I can do it. I'll put it out there. But please, if I do that, I mean, you could tell me you're. I'm not doing it for myself. This is something that we need to, um, because I don't see people. I've done. I kind of. I'll have to go with that later. <laughs> people, you know, throwing a throwing a, a, a dime at me. I've got a lot of uh, therapy to tools, um, Robert. So uh, anyway, um, I appreciate you guys being here. It really does mean a lot to me. That's why I do these shows. It's, it's really, well, it does help me out, believe it or not. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, just to, so I can see what you guys' response. And uh, if I can, uh, you know, help one person out, then guess what? I did my job. And you guys being on the shows, the ones that have been, I appreciate it. And um, thank you, thank you guys for being here. It really is pretty darn awesome. Um, Awesome. Um, and the comments you made really means a lot. Thank you, uh, uh, Robert and Jimmy. Feel free to reach out to me. 
I, I, I know what you, I know, I know. Um, thank you, Gary. So feel free. And again, if you haven't subscribed to that YouTube channel, let's talk stroke. Kaboom. Just do that. It'd be awesome. Well, okay. Awesome. They, you know, I really quick, they say, oh, you get to a thousand subscribers and you, um, and something you start getting paid. Is the check in the mail? On the, uh, more than a thousand. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, so anyway, guess what? Not getting paid. Anyway, uh, Stephen, yes, uh, did a GoFundMe and friend organized the group walk, asked for donations. I know it's just it's embarrassing. I just for me to you know, wow, well, I'll, I'll be talking to a few guys, few people, and we'll see how that will all work out. We have all there scared. Yes, we have. It is life-altering honestly it's better every day thank you serena and um i i know um jimmy if you're out there feel free reach out um i have a another meeting in nine minutes and then after that at um, what's it 11 11 30 i i think it's at one and then therapy at two or three something like that i'll look anyway you guys this has been freaking awesome. I really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And um, I'll keep you posted on how that goes. If you do see something on there, believe it. It's just to help everybody else out. I mean, absolutely. This has been really, really awesome. So I will uh, talk to you guys later. And Thursday is another day. So uh, have a great rest of your day, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank